It's morning. Let's shake it out a little bit. Okay, a lot of the things we'll be doing today are also going to help with posture, correcting that forward roll that we can get into because of the, um, our tendency, you know, we're always reaching forward for stuff. We might be looking at our phones, you know, all, this, all the things. So let's go ahead and find mountain pose with the feet hip width distance apart. And then start to, well, first uh, make sure all four corners of the feet are nice and grounded. So the big toe mound, outer heel, inner heel, li little toe mound. And then put some strength into your legs. Okay, so you're really like drawing those muscles around the uh, very large bones of your legs. Your hips are over your ankles. And here's a big part, the shoulders are over the hips, okay? And now bring your hands by your side and turn your palms forward. Notice how that rolls the shoulders open. And then think about your head, ears over shoulders. So now we're in mountain pose with the shoulders and the heart open, inhaling and exhaling. And just smooth your breath out. All right, so we want some sun and brightness today. So let's find that inner light right here at the middle of the center of your body. And just notice there's some light there. And as you inhale, the light gets brighter and as you exhale, it softens. Inhale to brighten your light. Exhale to soften. And one more time, really bright, bright, bright. And exhale. So let's add the arms to this breath, and since we want to open the heart, we'll add a little bit of circular motion to it. So as you inhale, draw your arms up, and as you exhale, let them come behind. Inhale up, big shoulder circles here, exhale behind, and just feel your heart open here. And then pause and we'll just go two times forward because our focus is really on the opening of the shoulders a little counter pose here two times and shake things out inhale and exhale all right so let's just get a little more movement going with those knees and hips and then we're going to work our way down to our spinal series, starting out with cats and cows in table pose. So come to the top of your mat here. Inhale, float the arms up. Okay, we're not really warm, so take a forward fold and just figure out where that should go for you right now. And then bend at the knees and hips, shine your heart forward and continue bending at the knees and hips till your hands come to the mat step back right step back left and bring your knees down find yourself in table now remember table you could always have your hands at the wall or on a chair instead and if this um, right angle of the wrist isn't comfortable move your hands forward a bit you can also roll up the edge of your mat place the heels of your hands on there here we go we're going cats and cows from here arch your back shine your heart forward Round the spine, gaze towards your left. Arch and round. And moving into your cats and cows. Just wake up that spine a few times here. Good. 
and then land in the cat, which is your spine rounded, your gaze towards your left. Just hold here and breathe into that space in between your shoulder blades. And then come back to a long spine. Inhale and exhale. All right, sit off to the side here and find seated mountain pose. Legs are long. Inhale and exhale. And then just shake everything out. Okay, so now we're going to um, move side to side. So you can either keep your legs long or if possible, come into um, an easy seat with your legs crossed. If that's not comfortable for you, then keep your legs long. We're gonna have the left hand gently down by your side, right arm up, inhale, keep the hips grounded as you tilt to the left. Now make sure you're not leaning into your left hand, just let it decorate the mat, not support you. Bring your right hand down, left arm up, and tilt to the right once again. The core is supporting us, not the hand. And we go back over to the left. And over to the right. And over left. And over right. So we just warmed up our side to side movement. Now we're going to take it and uh, hold it longer. So come over to the left, place your left hand on your left thigh completely out of the picture and now we're going to make some big circles with the right arm so we go to the left reach 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 forward out to the right up and around and the next time you're over to the left stay here make sure your right hip is grounded Extend your left arm, press those fingertips away, and come on up. Okay, now we're going to tilt to the right, put the right hand on the right thigh, and same thing, big circles. as you go and the next time you're over to the right stay there make sure that left hip is grounded extend the right arm press out through the fingertips inhale the arms up take your palms together and bring your hands to your heart inhale and exhale we're going to lean back and change the cross of the legs okay and do some twisting here. So bring your hands down, okay? Arms up we go. And from the torso, twist to the right, bring your hands down. Left hand is to your right leg, right hand is by your hip. Inhale up, and from the torso, twist left. I'm gonna show you from the side view. Inhale up, exhale, twist right. Your spine is still long. We don't. We don't lean back when we twist. Inhale up, twist left. Okay, let's go back over to the right. And over to the left. That was our warm up. Now we'll come back to the right. Stay here, lengthen your spine more, and then without tugging uh, from your left hand, twist a little more from the torso. Turn your gaze to the right, and then turn your gaze to the left. Wake up the neck. Turn your gaze back over to the right. And from here, go ahead and raise your right arm, okay? Um, you might want to turn your head a little bit forward and tilt over your left leg. Feel that nice extension in the side body coming back to that. All right, breathe the arms up, inhale, exhale, hands to the left, lengthen through the spine, twist to the left, 
as you turn your gaze towards your left shoulder. Exhaling, turn your gaze to the right. Exhaling, gaze back to the left. Now let your left arm float up and turn your head a little bit more to center or even a little forward and tilt over the right leg. Oh yeah, bring it in. All right, let's say everybody take the legs straight and give them a nice little shake. How's the spine feeling? Everybody doing all right? Okay, so let's come back to seated mountain pose and do some heart opening. So the legs are straight, the feet are flexed, the spine is long. Bring your hands to your heart here. Inhale your fingertips up toward the sky and exhale, clasp your hands behind you. If you don't clasp your hands, you can always put them on your hips here, okay? And now roll your shoulder blades toward each other as you shine your heart up without throwing the head back. And exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale the arms up, exhale, clasp. Notice if you clasp the exact same way, change your fingers by one, and then shine your heart up without throwing the head back. Yeah. And exhale, hands to heart. And we're going to do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, clasp. See what your fingers just did. Did you go back to your habitual clasp? Doesn't matter, just we're just noticing and look up. And release, shake things out, inhale and exhale. Okay, so we're going to do a reverse plank, bringing the hands behind, leaving the hips down, and lift your heart once again, not throwing the head back. Good and release. That's our move. You can lift your hips if that works for you. If you want to try lifting the hips, then the heels ground into the mat. The hands are still behind you. And roll up, maybe lift those hips. And release. All right, let's shake the arms out and do either one of those again. If neither one of those worked for you, then just clasp your hands and lift your heart like we just did. Everybody good to go? One more time, hips up or hips down, reverse plank or alternative. There's always an alternative and bring it down and shake it out. Okay, so we're going to do a little counter pose now for the shoulders. We did a lot of uh, opening of the shoulders just now. Arms come out. Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right, and we're just gonna roll the shoulders and head forward. Open up, and switch. So we go right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right, and roll forward. And open and shake it out. Okay, how are you guys doing? Give your hands a little bit of open and close here. We're going to come back to hands and knees and do sunbird. So make sure if you want some extra padding for your knees, you have that handy. Okay, that could be a towel, a blanket, um, an extra mat, or you can always just double up your mat. It depends on your knees, the surface you're working on, right? And remember, you can totally do this with your hands on a chair or your hands on a wall standing. Okay, wave at me if you need me to demonstrate the wall version or the chair version. Okay, and for Sunbird, we are coming back into tabletop. Maybe the hands are a little forward of the shoulders for less of an angle in the wrist. The knees are right under the hips. Yes, hips they're called. Okay, let's take the right leg back up to hip height, point the toe, lift that right leg, and shine your heart forward. 
Remember, we're not throwing the head back. This is sunbird. That's what we're doing. Bring the knee down. Take your left leg up. Point the toe. Lift the left leg. Shine your heart forward. Sunbird on the left. Good. And release. Okay, we're going to add some options here. You can stay with sunbird. Okay, we're right leg up. Lift the leg. Lift the heart. Now option, bend at the elbows, down and up. That's the dancing sunbird. Bring the right knee down. Left leg comes up. Remember to go at your own pace. Lift your left leg, shine your heart forward. Dance the sunbird as an option. Elbows bend, down and up. And bring your left knee down. Let's get off those hands for a moment. Tell me if you have any questions. And I'm going to show you our next option. So just sh to show you, here we go. It's going to be sunbird. Option to dance it down. Then we bring that up leg down. And the final option is lifting into a three-legged dog. Everybody ready? Choose the one that serves you best. Okay. All right. Pay close attention to your energy. And let's go. Sunbird, right leg lifts, heart lifts. Stay here or dance it down. Bring your right foot down if you're going into the three-legged dog. Left leg up. Left knee down, right knee down. Here we go. Sunbird left. Left leg up. Sunbird. Dance. Left foot down. Three-legged dog. Remember, these are all options. Right knee down, left knee down. Let's come up onto the knees. Shake it out. One more time. Nice and smooth. Your own little sunbird dance. Only go as far as you're going. Here we go. Table. Sunbird. Dance it down. Lifting down dog. Maybe. Left knee, right knee, left leg, sunbird. Dance it down. And possibly three-legged dog. Right knee comes down, left knee comes down. Let's take the big toes together, knees wide, and draw the hips toward the heels. And relax. So we're going to come up from our child's pose and just come back into table and let's lift into a downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Walk your feet to your hands. Take a half lift, forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. All right, so let's shake it out. Inhale and exhale. Okay, so we are going to do one uh, very soft uh, sun salutation and then we're going to come back down because I'm sure you're wondering where is our core and hip? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you thought we were going to forget it. Okay, here we go. The feet are hip width distance apart. So now this sun salutation, just make it your own. Very soft and smooth. Okay, float the arms up. Inhale gently. Exhale, swan dive. Take a nice gentle half lift. Sink the hips down and step back into a plank. Now you're Knees could be up or down. And then just go ahead and bend at the elbows. Bring the body down. Shine your heart forward in a cobra, gentle cobra. Come back down and lift into downward facing dog. 
And then we'll pedal the feet in our dog here. Press one heel down and hold. Press the other heel down and hold. Press both heels down and hold. And journey your feet to your hands. Take a half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up as your palms touch. And your hands come to heart center. And here we go again. Inhale up, exhale, swan dive. Good, you keep going, take a half lift, I'm just checking it out, and sink the hips down, hands to the mat, step back to plank, knees up or down, chaturanga down, and lift into a cobra, bring your hands down, and find your way to down dog. We'll do a little more of that alternate heel press here. And press both heels down. Now bring both knees down and sit off to the side. Let's find mountain pose again. And breathe. Yes, it's the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to roll down, spine to the mat, Knees are bent, the feet are hip width distance apart, hands are by your side. So we're going to take the right leg straight up, okay? So your core is, in starting to, is starting to engage here, but this is fairly restful. Now go ahead and start to lower that right leg just 15 degrees here, and then lower it another 15 degrees. Now you're starting to probably feel a little more sensation in the core, a little more work. Lower your leg till it's about halfway down. And at any point you can decide this is as far as I'm going. And then if you're going farther, lower it a little more, a little more, and then just hover your heel a couple of inches off the mat. And we're going to smoothly but slowly draw the leg back up. Bring the knee in and put your right foot down. So all along, could you feel the progression, right? What that was doing to your core. Also pay attention to your spine and make sure that you don't take your leg any farther down than it should go right now. Take your left leg up and notice as you bring the leg to 15 degrees down and another 15 degrees. So if between uh, the leg totally up and totally down is 90, you can see what we're doing. Now it's halfway down. And if you're continuing, go a little more, a little more, and then hover your left heel off the mat and slowly and smoothly bring the left leg back up, hug the left knee in, and put the left foot down on the mat. Now open and close your knees, little butterfly wings. All right, so we're going to go back through that again. So a lot of the work is just in the controlling the leg, right? Okay, here we go. Right leg is straight up and slowly down 15 degrees another 15 degrees, now that leg hovers halfway, goes another 15 degrees, another, and the heel hovers, slow and smooth up, right knee in and right foot down, left leg up, 15 degrees down, another 15 another 15, that's halfway, another 15, another, and the heel hovers, slowly and smoothly draw the left leg up and bring it in, and release both feet to the mat, let the knees open and close. Now you found your end point, your end point might have been heel hovering and it might have been anywhere else. With your right leg, go to your end point. 
Okay, so whether it's heel hovering or higher, go there now. And we're going to slowly, by degrees, a little at a time, bring the right leg up till it's vertical. And then slowly, smoothly, bring it back to your end point. Wherever your end point is. Your end point might be here this morning. That's perfectly fine. Do what your body is telling you to do. Okay, let's slowly bring that right leg up one more time from your end point. And bring it back down to your end point. This is all good information for you about your body. And then bring your right knee in. Okay, we're gonna let the right knee open out to the right and come back to center. Right knee out to the right and back to center. And then bring the right foot down. Same thing on the left. Take your left leg out to your end point. And slowly, by degrees, bring it up. Like little ticks of the clock, right? And then from here, slowly, smoothly bring it back to your end point. And one more time, slowly, by degrees, bring it up. And slowly back down to your end point. And then plant your left foot, let your knees open and close, draw your left knee in and let that left knee open out to the left and back to center. All right, and bring your foot down. Okay, let me know tomorrow if you feel that, you might feel it more tomorrow than you felt it just now, but that was a lot of work for the core, okay? And we're going to um, leave the obliques for standing version. So we'll just go ahead and move into some nice hip opening, okay? Some gentle dead bugs. Two feet are on the mat, arms overhead. Right leg extends, left arm back, bring the right foot in. Left leg extends, right arm back, bring it in. And that's what we're doing. We're moving into a foot down dead bug. If the arms aren't feeling it, just move your legs, move your arms less. All right, so we started with the right leg extended. Next time you extend your left leg, You'll be about even. Now extend both arms and both legs. Inhale, exhale, draw your legs in and hold on to either your shins or your hamstrings. And just move from side to side. Give your spine a little massage. Super. And bring your feet down and we're going to come Back to hands and knees for a moment. We won't be here long. And then come into downward facing dog. So feel the lengthening of your spine in the down dog. Now once you're comfortable in your down dog, bend both knees and send your tailbone up to that space where the wall and the ceiling meet. So you super lengthened your spine. The knees are not that important right now. We're thinking about the spine. So if the knees are bent any amount, that's fine. And then let's go ahead and take a nice little journey, feet to the hands. Now when you take your half lift, think about opening your heart 
and then exhale into forward fold. And keeping those feet nice and grounded, float the arms out and up as your palms touch. Good, and your hands come heart center. And release, shake things out. How's everybody doing? Let's shake it out. All right, so let's go ahead and do um, our moonflower to sunflower so we get a little bit of just complete movement and nice loosening up. Take your feet wider than hip width distance and turn the toes out. Okay, and we're going to square those feet, right? All four corners of the feet and knees over toes. All right, let's take it to five pointed star and moonflower down and up. Okay, let's hold in moonflower for a moment. Raise your right heel. Here's a little balance. Bring the right heel down, raise your left heel. Bring it down and then take both heels up if possible without wobbling the ankles. Bring the heels down, reach back up. Five pointed star. Moonflower right heel lifts and up. Moonflower left heel lifts and up. Moonflower both heels lift and up. Moonflower, both heels lift, both heels stay here. Now lift your heels a little higher, maybe sink those hips a little lower. Lift up, back to five pointed star, heels down, and let's shake it out a little bit, and then we'll move into sunflower, which includes a forward fold here, okay? So the feet are back, hip width distance, the feet are square, knees are going over the toes, okay? Arms up, five-pointed star. Take your legs out to the side, cross your right arm in front of your left, and draw it back up, sunflower. So we cross, come down, and up. And remember, a forward fold goes where you want it to go. Maybe this is your day to keep your heart higher than your hips. Maybe this is your day to go way down anywhere in between. Sunflower, cross and up, and cross and up. Remember, we are bringing the sunshine today, so let's really make sure we focus on the sun part of this. We started with the right arm crossing in front. Next time your left arm crosses in front, you'll be even, inhale, and step together, shake things out, inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to go back and do a sun salutation, okay? So here we go. And for this sun salutation, we'll add a crescent lunge with the arms back, low crescent, the arms will be back so we can open the heart and draw more sunshine into our environment here. So make sure you've got padding for your knees. If that is something that your surface and or your knees are um, asking for. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Now feel that the legs are a lot warmer now. So let's enjoy the swan dive. Bend at the knees, bring your hands to your thighs and shine your heart forward. Half lift, sink your hips down and bring your hands to the mat. We step back with the right into a lunge and just wiggle around in the lunge. So we're going crescent lunge, the right knee comes down for low crescent lunge, and the arms draw back, the heart shines up. Yeah, okay. And let's bring the hands down and come into a plank. Knees up or down. And chaturanga down. Now from here we're going to go into locust variations. So we have the hands by the thighs. Okay, the palms are facing the thighs. The pinkies are headed toward 
the sky here. Take your shoulders towards your ears, down your spine, lift your pinkies, lift your heart, and you're in a cobra, very uh, a locust variation here. Good, and release. All right, let's do that one more time. Lift the heart, lift the pinkies. Yes, good, and release. All right, find your way to downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale in your dog. Let's take that right leg up to hip height and take a step forward. We're getting ready for knee down crescent lunge with the left knee back. And just move your legs until you're in that crescent lunge position. Right knee is over the right ankle. Your left knee is behind your um, left hip and then draw your arms back, shine your heart up. Yes. Bring your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift the knee, engage all the muscles of your body nice and strong and take a nice strong step, back foot to the front of your mat, half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. Hands come heart center. Everybody good to go? Next side. Inhale. Fingertips up. Exhale. Swan dive. Half lift. Sink it down. Lunge back with the left leg. Enjoy a little hip action here in your lunge. Left knee down. Low crescent lunge. Arms back. down, plank, chaturanga, getting ready for locust again, so we have the hands by the thighs, pinkies up, and lift your heart, lift your pinkies, now add the legs if that works for you, lift your feet a little bit, and release. And one more time, lift, add the legs if that's you today, and release, find your way to downward facing dog. Remember that length of the spine we worked on earlier, see if you can feel that. And then take your left leg up, take a big step forward, arrange yourself for low crescent lunge, arms back, hands down, back knee lifts, and step, half lift, forward fold. Float the arms out and up as your palms touch. Yes, and hands come heart center. Good, and shake it out. Inhale and exhale. All right, we started playing with balance a little bit in the, um, oh, no, you know what we have to do? Yes, we need to do our obliques. So, <laughs> I see that. I see it. All right, we're going to do our obliques now. So let's take the legs Wider than hip width distance with the toes turned out. I know you're glad I didn't forget this. Knees over toes, knees over toes. We're back to this, okay? And now we're going to take the um, hands behind the head. If you can do that without pressing your head forward, make sure you're not doing that. Otherwise, just bring your hands to your shoulders. That's fine too. That might even be better for all of us to do. Avoid that temptation of pressing through the head, okay? So we're going to bend the knees, tilt right oh, and up, and tilt back to the right, extend the arms, bring the hands in, come back to center, straighten the legs, bend the knees, tilt left, yeah, and up. 
tilt back to the left, straighten the arms, bring the hands in, come center, and up. We're going to do that again, bending and straightening the knees each time. So bend and tilt to the right, center and up. Bend and tilt to the right, extend the arms, arms back, center and up. Bend, tilt left, center and up. Bend, tilt left. Extend, arms back, center and up. Bend and to the right, center and up. Bend back, right, extend, back, center and up. Bend to the left, center and up. Bend to the left, extend, back, center, and up. Okay, let's shake out those arms for a moment, and we're going to do our big finish with this move here. Hands are back, knees are bent, to the right, stay here, extend, and bring it back. Extend, and bring it back. Extend, bring it back. One more, extend, bring it back. Come center and up. Bend to the left, Extend, bring it back, extend, and back, extend, and back, one more, extend, back, center, and up, and shake it out, inhale and exhale, shake out the knees, all right, so we're just going to do a little bit with balance here, come back to mountain pose, inhale and exhale here, okay, Bring your hands to your hips and we're going to move into a tree pose. So just raise your right heel, take your right uh, knee, that is, out to the right here and kickstand your heel on your left leg, okay? And just stand tall, bring your hands to your heart. Fix your gaze, your mind is calm and release. Let's try it on the left with the um, toes still down, left knee out, kickstand your heel on your right leg, fix your gaze, and release, and shake it, shake it out a little bit, okay? And now we're going to do that, possibly move the foot up the leg, okay? Right foot out, Maybe move the foot onto the left leg. Take the toes up, see where that goes. Fix your gaze. Good, and release, whew. All right, let's take it on the other side. Knee out, left foot to the right leg. and release. All right, so some of you have been doing tree for a long time. You wanna go right into it, maybe even lift the arms if that feels right to you. Otherwise, do the version we just did with either the toes down or the foot on the leg. We're going back to the right foot, supporting on the left leg, yeah. So take your version of tree that works for you this morning and release and now we're going right leg stays is our support either float up into a tree maybe one side is acting a little differently than the other so do what you're doing and when you're done release and shake it out all right so let's do that one more time just whatever you feel is your best tree for right now, on the right. And release. Take a breath and 
whatever you feel like is the right tree for you. Take the left foot out. And release. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, shake things out, move around, get in touch with your body, see if anything feels stiff or wants to release. Listen to your body. Oh, whatever feels good. And then start to look around your space and see if there's anything you want for when we're down on the earth here. Okay, maybe you've got an eye pillow or something to cover up in fun when we get to final relaxation or anything else that you want nearby. And we're going to come to the top of the mat here. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to do just a little more um, shoulder opening before we come down. So inhale your arms up. Now exhale, this is standing camel. Bring your hands to the top of your hips here. Okay? So, and from here, Start to roll your elbows toward each other and lift your heart. Remember, we're not throwing the head back. Standing camel. Heart is up. And release. Bring your hands down. Okay, now that might be your standing camel for the whole day. You can also do hands slightly lower. Okay, roll your hands down lower. Elbows toward each other. Shine your heart up. Does that work for you? If so, great. If not, hands are up. And release, Whew, shake it out. All right, and one more time, either version. Standing camel. And release, okay. Counterposing that shoulder opening. Take your arms out, right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right. Shoulders and head roll forward. Open the arms out. Left hand to the right shoulder. Right hand to the left. Shoulders and head roll forward. And come up. Release. Shake it out. Okay, we're at the top of the mat. Float the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Swan dive. Long spine. Half lift, shine that heart forward. Really feel that brightness radiating out from your heart. Hands down. Find your way to down dog. Remember, you could be here, right? And then bring your knees down. Sit off to the side. And come back to seated mountain pose. Inhale and exhale here. Okay. And we're going to lengthen the spine on the inhale and the exhale. So take your palms out by your side. Inhale, draw the arms up, long, long spine. Turn your palms out as you exhale and continue to lengthen the spine even as your arms come down. Fingertips touch. And one more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, continue to lengthen. All right, let everything go. Give it a nice little shake. We'll do a couple of soft forward folds so the arms just kind of gently float up and you come into a very soft forward fold. And roll up, arms gently up and soft fold here. Good. And roll up. We're going to bend the knees and bring the spine down to the mat. All right. Just be here in neutral for a moment. Inhale and exhale. So we're going to move into pigeon. 
We're flying pigeon and we're going to be holding it a little bit. Yay, that's great. So let's go ahead and take the right ankle across the left thigh. Make sure your right foot is flexed. Draw your legs in towards you and hold on to your left leg. Maybe your hands are clasped around your hamstring. Maybe you're holding the side of your leg. Okay, your right foot is flexed. And take your right hand and Press that right knee a little away from you so it's not coming so in towards your face. And then hold on to your left leg again. Bring your left knee in line with your left shoulder. And just breathe. Feel all that goodness coming out as the hip just melts nice open. Now go ahead and bring your left leg up, point and flex your left foot. You're still in your figure four. And circle that ankle one direction and the other. And then release, bring both feet to the mat and let the knees gently open and close, little butterfly wings here. Now take your left ankle across your right thigh. Same thing, the legs come in. Hold on. And see what your left knee is doing. Maybe you need to press it a little farther away from your face with your left hand. Come back to your hold. And then make sure your right knee is in line with your right shoulder. Left foot is flexed, enjoying this pigeon. Go ahead and extend the right leg, point and flex the right foot. Circle one direction and the other. Release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Let those knees gently open and close. All right, let's draw the legs together so they're touching, two feet to the mat, arms out by your side, nice and long, and just sway your knees to the right, turn your gaze to the left, come back through center, sway your knees to the left, come back to the right. So you're just going a little at a time. And as you gently sway, you're going to find the point where you feel great with this. And just keep going back to that. Let the head move side to side as we release the neck. And then when you feel even, come back to center. Take your feet hip width distance apart. We extend through the fingers nice and wide and wiggle them into a gentle fist. Extend and wiggle, feeling the energy move all the way up through the straight arm into the shoulder. Extend and wiggle. And then from a gentle fist, rotate the wrists one direction and the other. 
hands down by your side and scan your body from head to toe. See if there's any final movements that you need to make here. Realign, find your cover up if, you're, if you have that for final relaxation. Do whatever it takes to get your body ready for some nice constructive rest. And then find yourself in your final relaxation position for today. Knees could be bent, legs could be straight, arms by the hips, a little away from the hips. Make sure everything is nice and settled. Inhale through the nose and slowly exhale, just release your body onto the earth as you move into final relaxation. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body. Take a nice long stretch as you inhale. Hug everything in. Find your way over to a side and back up to a nice easy seat. And turning your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.